In OmniFocus 2.3 for Mac, the Omni Group introduced new ways to customize the outline view. In this video, we'll look at what customizations are available and how they can be applied in both the standard and pro editions of OmniFocus for Mac. Let's start by looking at the features that are available in both the standard and pro editions. To begin with, I'll switch to the projects perspective. The outline view contains a list of projects, actions, and groups that are currently displayed using the fluid layout. When using the fluid layout, the first line contains the name of the item, and the second line contains details. For example, here's an action called Send Out Month End Invoices. The title of the item is in the first line, and the details, including the context and defer and due dates, are displayed on the second line. OmniFocus 2.3 for Mac introduces a column layout option that makes it possible to include the item name and details on the same line. This more compact view allows more items to be displayed on the screen at once and can be useful if you're using a smaller screen and navigating longer lists of projects, groups, and actions. Let's look at how to switch to the column view. If you open the OmniFocus Preferences, you'll see that a new Layout tab has been added with two layout options, Fluid and Custom Columns. I'll change the layout setting to Custom Columns, and notice that the layout of the OmniFocus window in the background changes as soon as I change the layout preference. We'll take a closer look in a moment. I can now choose which columns are visible. I'll leave this at the default setting, which is to display everything except the estimated duration and completion date columns. I can still get to this information using the inspector if I need to. Below the column checkboxes are a couple of other options. You can choose to hide the projects column if the perspective you have selected contains a list of projects in the sidebar, and you can choose to hide the context column if you're using a perspective that's grouped by context. I'll close the preferences dialog so we can get a better look at the column layout. Notice that the action we looked at previously is now contained on one instead of two lines, and that this more compact layout allows for more items to be displayed. OmniFocus intelligently adjusts the width of columns to display as much information as possible. The projects perspective that I'm currently in contains a list of projects in the sidebar, so the projects column isn't displayed in order to save space. I can still move an action to a different project by using the inspector, or by dragging and dropping it to a different project in the sidebar. If I switch to the context tab, you'll see that the items are grouped by context, and in keeping with the preference we specified earlier, there isn't a column for context. I can still move an action to a different context using the inspector, or by dragging and dropping. For example, if I want to change the context of update project information in Wiki from easy to focus, I can drag this action to focus in the sidebar. If the name of an item doesn't fit in the name column, there are a couple of options. You can either have it span two or more lines and have the complete name visible, or you can have OmniFocus truncate any items that aren't selected. For example, notice that the review summary of reviews that were completed last year currently spans two lines. If I click on View and then Show Full Item Title, I can choose either Always or When Selected. Notice what happens to the outline view when I choose When Selected. The first part of the item I was looking at is now displayed on one line, and when I click on it, it expands to show the full title. If you'd like to go back to the Fluid Layout option, simply open the Preferences dialog and choose Fluid from the Layout tab. If you're using the Standard Edition of OmniFocus, the Layout option you specify in the Preferences dialog will apply to all perspectives. I'll close the Preferences dialog for now, and we'll look at some options that are available in the Pro Edition of OmniFocus. If you click on the View button or press Command-Shift-V, you'll see that there's a layout section that allows you to choose to use the default layout settings that are specified in Preferences. And you can also choose to use either the Fluid Layout or to use Custom Columns for this specific perspective. If you choose Custom Columns, you can even choose which columns are displayed for this perspective. I'll switch this back to Use Preferences for now, and we'll click on the View icon to hide the View options. If you open up the Perspectives window by choosing Perspectives Show Perspectives, you'll see that a new Layout section has been added to the Perspective settings. The options available here match those that are available through the View button on the toolbar. 
I'll close the perspectives window for now. The Pro Edition also allows you to customize the layout of the Quick Entry dialog. To show you how this works, I'll choose Show Quick Entry from the Windows menu. And then I'll click on the eye icon in the lower left-hand corner of the Quick Entry window. There are three options available. I can use the layout specified in the Layout tab of the Preferences dialog. I can choose to always use the Fluid layout for Quick Entry. Or I can choose the Custom Columns option and specify what columns are displayed in Quick Entry. For this example, I'll choose Custom Columns and will select all of the columns except Completion Date. I'll click on the eye icon to hide these options and will increase the width of the Quick Entry window to allow for wider columns. I'll then click Cancel to close this window. If I open up this window again, for example by pressing the Quick Entry shortcut key, which in this setup is the default value of Control Option Spacebar, you'll see that both the column setup and the size of the Quick Entry window are preserved. I encourage you to experiment with different layout options and see what works best for you. And be sure to visit LearnOmniFocus.com regularly to access our growing library of articles, videos, and webinars. This is Tim Stringer from Learn Omnifocus. Thanks for watching.